Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. For those of you who are into computers, you might be stumbled upon a definition called firmware. What is it? That's what we're going to discuss today. And this video is for anyone who's curious about the differences between the software, hardware, and firmware. Did you know that firmware literally is everywhere in all the devices? It might be strange to think about but just as common as hardware and software, firmware is also there. The first time I got in, interacted with the firmware was when I checked out my scanner and basically I power, powered it on and switched it on and, and without connecting to the computer, the firmware did certain steps to, this, to the cold reboot and just uh, started the machine without connected to the computer. So, in fact, it thanks to firmware that printers, scanners, car radios, and much more devices work because of that. Based on the example above, you probably already have some idea of what firmware is, but you don't have a clear definition of it. That's what we're going to discuss today. In order to truly understand what firmware is, we must first understand software and then hardware because they're all connected together. And finally, we can jump into firmware. So in, in this video, I'll explain each topic with an example and, and take it from there. It doesn't matter if you're just getting into technology. This is really handy knowledge. With that, I would like to make sure that everybody understands what software, hardware, and firmware is. So basically, uh, th that's what we're going to discuss. Let's get on with the first step, which is the crucial part of instructions in a uh, computer program. That is called a software. So you can look, take a look at a book, for example. Imagine, if you will, that you have no idea what to make for dinner today, for instance. Luckily, you find an old cook recipe book you have and decide to cook one of the recipes from that book. The cookbook has many recipes. Each of these recipes has its own instructions. So this is what we're getting into, set of instructions. Those instructions are the key to what we are talking about of the topic of firmware. In the cookbook, a recipe can be seen as a set of steps or instructions that together make a meal. Cooking instructions. You can also create your own meals based on your experience in cooking many different recipes. Software, for instance, is no difference. Software programs can be seen as a set of instructions that work together to form a program but software runs inside a computer, such as uh, instruction of code. Then applications are a big set of instructions that perform specific tasks. So you have certain applications within the software that perform a particular task. Operating systems are a big set of instructions that coordinate software and hardware resources. So basically, firmware is somewhere between an operating system and software. That's what firmware is. You need a recipe to make dinner. You must follow each step in the cookbook to create a recipe. Once you have completed all the steps, your dinner is ready. You need software to accomplish a particular task. A computer has to follow instructions for that software to execute the function. Therefore, the software is running either while the instructions are being followed or after they have been completed. So basically, that's what software is. Now, they're all linked together, so you have to uh, understand the differences in what each is, each type of definition. What is hardware? Okay, in order to make dinner, you need a series of steps such as food, 
the cookbook tells you how to make a particular meal, but you also need tools to cook with, like pots and pans and knives and, and the food itself, for instance. This is like hardware in a, a very short form. So I'm not going to get into all the little details, but this is what you, you, I'm assuming that you know the definition of software and hardware by now. So hardware can be anything like CPU, RAM, GPU, and etc. So now let's get into what is finally firmware. Firmware, for example, let's say you want software that runs on a microwave. You don't need all the hardware. The computer has to make the microwave work. You just need a specific to making the microwave work. So just that specific instruction inside the microwave is what is called firmware. Or it's not like the whole software inside a computer. It is only a specific little instruction set of code that runs inside a hardware. Or say you want software running on a printer. You don't need all the hardware. The computer has to make the printer work just as software or the printer. So for instance, every device that you buy has a different type of code. So for certain devices, there is software because they have extensive code, uh, a lot of large amount of codes and really technical details. And certain types of devices have firmware, which is so something like a microwave because it just does one task, one simple task. and. Uh, that's what it is. And computer needs software because computer does many things. So this means that firmware is nothing more than software but in a hardware device, not in a computer. That's, what I, that's my point. Firmware lets very specific hardware complete very specific tasks. Well, wrapping it up, I hope you understand the topic of firmware and uh, I have four kinds of viewers on the channel. So bear in mind uh, the topics. When I upload the videos, uh, you have to, if you're looking for a particular type of video, you have to check my playlist already created in, on the channel. So if you don't see your interest of topic in the next upload, when I make an upload next time, you just go to the, my playlist and you will see them there. And uh, I have created playlists already uh, if you want to dig deeper into a particular topic for you. Also, I am enclosing inside the video's description box a link to my website, uh, which is from an old website, so bear in mind the name Online Scammers. It's nothing to do with Scammers, it's just a, a link of a website from that URL, a detailed list of everyday videos that I make, uh, that I have made. Uh, so you can see a detailed description and uh, take the uh, viewing pleasure from there because it's much easier. You can't show um, all the videos on, on the YouTube uh, platform, so I've created a website where you can see anything you like uh, at a click of a button. Thanks for watching the video and click like if you like the video and click the red button to subscribe to see more of the content. Tada from Shaz. Enjoy this video? Then must have a look at these videos.